everyone, it's GFX Rose with a Blender to Roblox quick tutorial on how to color your models in Blender. Yes, you guys have been waiting for this video and I have been waiting to give it to you. This video might be the single-handed most important video you'll ever see when it comes to Blender because people really don't enjoy building in gray. So let's look here, guys. I'm showing you that you have the branches, you have the trunk. They're different colors, right? So I showed you how to do that. You make them different objects. But what if I want this in Blender? Okay, well, let's show something. For example, I cannot possibly... Oh, wait, hold on. Got to get this right, guys. I cannot possibly have a swing be all the same color. I mean, how boring, right? So here I am, I'm gonna build this swing and add it to the tree because we all love a swing in a tree, right? It's so much fun. And I'm gonna show you how to take this and turn it into um, a colored model. And you can, you can make multiple parts and then piece it together in Roblox. You can certainly do that. That's why I gave you the video on how to make a tree in Roblox the way that I did, because it is easier to do it that way on some level. But the more parts that you have in your game, it's going to lag the game. So let me go ahead and show you this quick way. And that way you can import all of this into your game as one big mesh okay it, or you could do you know you could have it as uh, the tree separate and then the swing as one mesh as well so a lot of different ways to do it but while i'm building this swing set i just want to say thank you so much to infancia who is the one that taught this to me uh, from his videos and he changed my life honestly because he was able to explain it so well so now we're going to the uv editing all right and you'll see over here on the left hand side we have this box and then we'll go over to shading uh, because we need to add a material all right so we've click on new and principled bsdf is what we're looking at here you don't really need to know all of that it's okay but as you can see this is all one big white blob okay well when you click on each item it is going to change uh, the material right each object will be its own material so now we're going to add the roblox palette i will actually include it in the description below you just drag the file from wherever you put it on your computer it's hard for me to show you but you literally take that file and just drag it over now we're going to look at this yellow dot and we're going to click on it and drag that over as well where it says color to base color and you can see that it has been highlighted Okay, so you just need to change it so that you can make it the right color that you are wanting. And right now, we don't have that option, so we need to fix that. Let's move off of the shading tab. As you can see, the trunk is still white, so it's only the object we have highlighted that's been changed. And go to UV editing. Now, this is the Roblox palette. Please understand, when you're making things like a UGC uh, to submit to Roblox, you actually do have to make your own palette, okay? You have to be unique to your UGC. But in this case, we're using Roblox's colors themselves, so no stress about that. But I did want to explain that for you all. You can also see when I click on all for the entire object, we are seeing all of the faces displayed all over the palette and we don't want that we need to be able to control the colors so that the leaves can be green and our swing can be whatever color we want it to be so i realized i didn't have my screen has keys on now you'll see i've hit a for all and we're going to make sure we are over in this window to the left and click a as well it's going to highlight everything then we hit s for scale and then zero so that it can become a dot okay and that dot we're going to move to where we need it to go we hit g to move and we just move it all around to find the color we want i'm going to pick shamrock just like before but i can't see it oh my goodness oh my goodness well i've got to change my viewport right so we go up here at the top 
and we change it. Well, sometimes it's at the bottom, but we're going to change it now to show material preview. So that is with all the material. Now, guys, this is exactly what I was explaining, explaining to you before. We don't want the entire item to be all green, right? So we're going to need to go through and make each part of the object the color that we want. So as you can see here, I'm showing you the different viewpoints. You can see render mode, how it's going to look in the end, etc. But for right now, we just need to be in material preview because we're, we're previewing our materials, right? So let's go ahead and click on the ropes, if you will. I mean, that's a poor quick make of ropes, whatever, whatever it would be right for the swing. And what color do you think we would want it? We need to highlight it. In order to just get that area, you hit L for link and it will just highlight the area that you are trying to focus on. We hit G, we move around, and now we're going to move to the color that we want. Then you can see, yippee, it's brown, kind of like a rope feeling or whatever, wood, whatever, it doesn't matter. Now we highlight with L again to link our little cube at the bottom here, our little seat, and we can have it be whatever we want. I want it to be a nice red, right? A nice, great, I don't know, it makes me think of school for some reason, like an apple red. Okay, you go to object mode and you can see, guys, that the leaves are green and the wonderful seat is a different color, red and then the brown. But the trunk is still white, so we'll need to go in and fix that. We'll need to highlight on that trunk and change that color separately because it was a different object. Okay, so right now we go into shading and we highlight that trunk and we're going to do this all over again so if you didn't catch it the first time well let's just do it again and you can get a hang of it that way okay so we highlight on the trunk and then we will head on over to the shading tab so here we are in the shading tab and what we need to do is click new again are you guys remembering all these steps it's going to take some practice that's for sure you might have to watch the video a few times we have new principled BSDF. We're going to drag over that Roblox palette that I've saved on my computer. I click on the yellow dot. I drag it to base color, color to base color, and I can change this to closest. Fancy would always do that. I, I, I think it's just for clarity and coloring. Um, I haven't noticed a huge difference, so I will be, will be honest on that. So that is not my field of expertise at this point. Now, Moving to UV editing, you highlight all, and then you have the Roblox palette there like before, right? And then you need to do exactly what you did before. As you can see, you're not seeing any of those UV palettes. So we need to do this again, where we're highlighting this all A, and then we come over and make sure that it's also appearing on the other side. If you have any problems at all, you hit U, and you hit unwrap so that it will again appear because otherwise you have nothing to work with you need to find the find all those faces and so if they're not showing up like they're not here you go to smart uv or unwrap the smart one is better you click ok and it's going to make it all fan out on your palette see so now we have that weird looking shaping again. We're not after that. We're just wanting a nice brown trunk. So we do it again. Over here, we have highlighted all. And on the left hand side, we will highlight all as well. You hit A for all on both sides. They have to both be highlighted or you're not getting anywhere. A and then S to scale, which is going to bring that down. Then zero which brings it to nothing right and hit enter then you hit g and you move all around onto your item and then pick the color that you want so it is a s zero enter g just remember all of those little codes say it over and over again and you will have color for your model here you go looks amazing and here it is, guys, in Roblox, you can see it looking great. All you do is import that model again or export that model again, like in the other video, and it's going to appear in Roblox with those colors on it.
The hot tip though, so you don't have problems with the palette not working, is to make sure to save it in its own file. Roblox will automatically find the color for you that way. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I've enjoyed being with you. I hope you've enjoyed being with me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.